hi fam welcome back to my channel it's intentional fever here if you are new here thank you so much for clicking to watch this video please consider joining the family by clicking on the subscribe button also turn on your notification bell so that you get notified whenever i upload new videos and to all my amazing returning subscribers thank you so much for always coming back to watch my videos i appreciate you guys so this video was three weeks postpartum yeah i was just giving my baby boy his vitamin drops and in this video um you guys will watch me cook initially i started off this vlog wanting to show you guys a day in my life what it looks like i ended up not achieving that but you guys will still enjoy this video i cooked for the first time three weeks postpartum yeah i had to do that after a long time and i missed cooking and i hope you guys enjoy watching me cook and doing my meal prep especially so please don't forget to hit the like button like this video and enjoy you are so cute yeah what's up fam so this is how many hours later from the last time i spoke with you guys currently it's to eight at night 8 p.m of course uk weather yeah it's still very bright which is good what have i been doing all day i had visitors by the way yeah my auntie her mom and my one of my sisters in manchester they visited me so they spent quality time with me with baby and you know we had good time together so when they left i was already tired and not motivated literally as i was making my breakfast that was when they came breakfast that i had around had i had in the afternoon because they came in around past 12 to 1 yeah thereabouts so yeah and they left past three that was when they left and since then i've just been you know i've done a lot of things i've cleaned up because you guys can see they brought soup for me this is bitter leaf soup of course it came in a custard bucket you know custard bucket so i was trying to wash up everything yeah a whole bucket of unubu soup mm -hmm. that's what they brought for me so i put them in these um small plates so that i can put them in my freezer that's how i like storing so that when i want to defrost or warm anyone i just bring out one and i want to so this is it and of course they visited the woman that just gave birth. They brought Jim Miracle. Of course, he's been eating <laughs> already. This is what is remaining from it. That's what they brought for me. And of course, some other goodies that Mama came um, with from Nigeria. Yay! And um, I'm so happy. Yeah. Um, so shout out to you, my lovely sister, my auntie, and Mama. Yeah. So guys, um, I told you guys that my brother, I think I mentioned it, I'm not sure, that my brother went to buy meat that I'll use and cook. Look at what time it is. I don't even know what to do. Whether I should start me my meal prep. I don't just know what to do, to be honest. But I just want to show you guys the meat, yeah, that he bought. So he bought beef and hot chicken. That's basically what I want to Beef. This is beef. Can you guys see? I don't know because I don't even know what to do but I'm going to wash this beef especially before putting them in the cream this is one beef this is one can you see the quantity it's actually very heavy really very heavy I don't know how many I don't know what it weighs this is the second one ah my wrist is still feeling me. This one is smaller. I'll try and manage to carry this one. So this is it. Beef. Yeah. And then chicken. Hard chicken. See the quantity? It's three in number. Hard chicken. Not the one you get from Tesco and all these shops. Hard chicken. Correct chicken. And very delicious too. Three of these. So all these. The beef and the chicken, everything is 80 pounds. Yeah. It's 80 pounds that we got that we got them for. So in my head now, I don't know. I've really done a lot since they left. And also I've watched movies. <laughs> yeah, it's not like I've been working since they left. So 
Mm-hmm. That's really it. I think I'm going to take out the meat I'm going to use to cook tomorrow. Uh, I want to cook a cross soup. This vegetable, should I use it for a for? Maybe I should use it for yam. At this point, I don't know. I think I'll make a better decision tomorrow. So guys, maybe I'll see you guys in another clip, another video. Right now, um, I'm just going to go and put this in the freezer. Yeah. And get ready to bring them out early. Because, yeah. I think I'll put them in the freezer and I'll put off my freezer. Because it's already so blocked. So it will just be fresh. Then I'll bring them out tomorrow to cook. But unfailingly, I must cook tomorrow. So guys, it's the following day. Yeah, finally. We are cooking this food. I'm so sorry, I have hiccup. I don't know where it's from. Let me show you the state of my vegetables. So these vegetables, I've had them for the past three days now. Should have cooked them since, but one thing leading to another. I have not. But well, finally, I'll be doing that today. I also have green. Or what the Yorubas in Nigeria call a four. I actually bought this to cook a four, but I don't even know if I'm feeling like eating a four again or cooking a four. But I will still use it. The other option I have is to cook yam with it. I have my Oziza leaf here. Yeah, I'm going to use it to cook or cast your Oziza soup. Um, yeah, so I've brought out my meat. I've, I've brought out my meat. I'll be using one portion of the meat. I have Another of these, the bigger one in the freezer, which I bought yesterday. I'll be using this one. I don't know. I also forgot to tell you guys, I'll be cooking okra. What will I be doing with the ogo? I want to cook okra soup. And I might, might cook a goosey. Cook a goosey and then, of course, use ogo and cook a goosey. I've not eaten a goosey to ogo soup since I came to this country. Yes, you heard me right. For over three years now, I've not eaten ogo. Uh, a goosey soup cooked with ogo. It's either I use spinach or I use um, bitter leaf. But today, I think I'll just go very small. Maybe I'll use my smallest pot. Just, yeah, we still have a goosey soup. Yeah, so, you know, just to cook that warm. It's almost finishing, anyways. Yeah. So I have a lot to cook. So basically, I'll be cooking like four soups today. This meat will not be enough. Of course, maybe I'll add chicken. To I'll add chicken to the goosey or something, but in between I'll know what I'll do. So let's go there, guys. Losing time, I'm fading fast. I just wanna make it last. Try to let go of the past. I close my eyes, embrace the blast. Sleepless nights and headaches stack. Restlessness to hell and back. What's my purpose? What do I grab? A slippery surface, a heart attack. And sometimes you just gotta believe. There's something that'll give you relief. There's something that'll have what you need. What you mean? We're broken, it's tragic We're not all elastic But maybe there's magic Believe you could have it And I know of sadness The anxious in panic The infinite vastness Of all that is blackness I'm happy. There's this thing about me, I don't know if I'm doing it now. Whenever I'm cooking or doing meal prep, I stand a lot. Honestly, even if I try to sit down, maybe I'm just tired. After a few minutes or even seconds, I'll stand up again. So this is how the meal prep is going. As you can see, I'm done. This is the green, the F4. Um, because of the wahala with washing it, before cutting it. I'm not sure I have that patience to be arranging it. 
I cut it first so I've not washed it. Then um, the Uziza leaf, of course. Who I don't know. Is this thing showing? Yeah, this cloth is stunned here, guys. Just forgive me. Just because of this, I can't condemn this cloth. I love it. <laughs> um, yeah, this is the Uziza leaf, of course, unwashed. But you need to cut it, I don't know, but the way it is, eh, so it's so small, that means the soup will even be small, yeah. it will be small, I don't know, I didn't expect it to be this small. Then the ogo was one I'm more disappointed in, see the quantity of the ogo, let me sure I can use this to cook a goosey and um, the okra, I yeah, just use it for okra alone, ah, I'm exhausted. Okay guys, so the next thing is to cut my okra, and, hmm. I can't remember last time I got okra. Since my brother came, um, he has really been helpful. Of course, he came when I was pregnant, so I was struggling then. So he usually does my food prep for me because I can't stand this long. Even when I, I try to cook, I stand a lot, like I said. So in order to help myself, he does my food prep. And I bought this thing before he came. I don't know if you guys know this chopper. This is a light saver. I use it for my onions and everything. So my brother. He loves this more than I do. Since he came to this house, anything down to okra. So I've never cut okra since he came, like I said. But he always uses this to cut my okra. And I'm going to do that because I'm made for soft life. Who likes soft head? No, I'm not soft head though. Like, like, I don't like soft head though. So I'm going to use this now to cut my okra. Just like I've seen my brother do. No. Tana, see? Who likes soft? Me, I'm made for soft life. Eh? Me, girl. So I'm really happy that he helped me. Just that these all colors are so tall. Eh? You can't even feel because if they are not so tall, oh, wait, too. I'll be talking the link to two, right? So that like three pieces will fit in at the same time. Okay. Don't be talking one more, one more. Yay. Guys, I'll show you guys the aftermath of it when I'm done. So guys, I'm done. This is my okra. I was going to transfer it. I don't know if you guys can see what it's like. How we did cut it. It's not so tiny. It's not so big. I just love the way it is. I just love it. I just love it. Time fading fast. I just wanna make it last. Try to let go of the past. I close my eyes, embrace the blast. Sleepless nights and headaches stack. Restlessness to hell and back. What's my purpose? What do I grab? A slippery surface, a heart attack. And sometimes you just gotta believe there's something that'll give you relief. There's something that'll have what you need, what you need. We're broken, it's tragic, we're not all elastic. Someone is awake, I'm hungry. Mama. Guys, see me, I'm still in the middle of cooking. And he woke up, my brother has to bring him down. Mm, it's only food, food. Until he gets this food. <laughs> Mama has got you, don't worry. <laughs> Did you enjoy your sleep? <laughs> it's not having it. My Uziza soup is ready. I love the way it came out, and I was thinking the relief is so small. I think I wanted to use a smaller pot to make this soup. Oh my god, and it tastes so yummy. This is my okra coming out. 
And my okra soup is ready guys. Yay. I don't know why this camera is making it look like the oil is not this thing. But believe me, it's, it's perfect. It's looking white. Let me see. Losing time, I'm fading fast. I just want to make it last. Try to let go of the past. I close my eyes and face the blast. Sleepless nights and headaches stack. Restlessness to hell and back. What's my purpose? What do I grab? A slippery surface, a heart attack. And sometimes you just gotta. So, guys, this is an hour, few minutes after cooking and eating. And this boy was brought down to me. I just finished feeding him and look at him. Bobo, how are you? Hmm? He's been sleeping all day. He sleeps, wakes up, eats and that's it. Bobo! <laughs> Why are you so serious? Eh? You're too serious for my liking. I can't wait for you to get to that age. Then I'll be playing with you and you'll be laughing. This one I barely get <laughs> I barely get laughter from him. No, not laughter, smile. He only smiles. I can't wait because yeah, I love happy children. I hope you'll be one. Hmm? Hope you'll be one, Bobo. Why so cute? Eh? Why so cute? <laughs> oh my god, this boy. Boo boo. Boo look at the camera. Look up. Eh? You are your pacifier. Mm. Mm. What are you pointing at? You are stretching. Always stretching. Mm. Mm. <laughs> So I ended up just using the vegetable because see, my freezer is full, very full with uh, soups, onubu, um, ozeza, egusi, and okra. And honestly, in this our house, like for whatever reason, although I have too many in this house, they barely eat swallow. I'm telling you, you guys might be surprised. That soup might stay there for two months, like all those soups there. I'm not kidding you, two months you've not finished them. And me, I'm not so big on swallow. For whatever reason, <laughs> honestly. So I don't want to go and make another F4. And you know, I saw the last F4 I made how many months ago. I saw one that is remaining there. Then I said, I'm not doing this F4. For all, my brother doesn't eat it. Um, my, my husband enjoys it, but with all these soups there. So um, I decided to use it to cook it and porridge. And it's really nice. Really, really nice. Honestly. Yeah. So I think I'll be ending this vlog here. To be honest hopefully it comes out well i really hope so and uh, thank you guys for watching if you watched up to this point i really really appreciate you guys don't forget to give this video a thumbs up please i'm begging with the name of god please like this video okay also subscribe to the channel if you have not and i'll be seeing you guys in the next one until then <coughs> okay <laughs> until i come your way next time stay blessed Remain intentional and take good care of yourselves. Bye!